I am sort of coordinating this project from the city's uh, perspective. So, um, if you have any questions about how this uh, how this meeting goes and how the project goes, please contact me. I'll be available here all evening. You can get in touch with me. And um, if you're interested, there's a link to my direct email and to talk uh, about uh, landscape design and improvement for the city's um, the city-owned portion of College Park, which is right in the middle of the block, in the middle of College Park. So it's between College, Girard, Bay, and Young. Um, in the middle there, there's an actual city park. You probably are very familiar with it. It's got a rink on it. It's got a fountain in it. And um, it needs a little bit of a facelift, and we're going to give it to, to the park. So we're here to hear what you guys want, what you guys are interested in. We're here to show you a couple of ideas and listen to what you have to think, say about those ideas. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce um, the councillor for Ward 27. Yes. Um, Kristen Wongtamp. And please don't hesitate to get in, um, in touch with me uh, all evening and following this presentation. Thanks. Thank you very much, Ms. Abby, and welcome everyone to our, uh, our consultation meeting. This has been a, a very exciting endeavor, um, trying to think of ways uh, and concepts to improve our park spaces in the ward. Uh, ward 27, as many of you know, whether you're residents or you happen to be working in the neighborhood, or you're coming down to play or to study, uh, you'll know that Ward 27 is a very diverse place. We've got 14 very distinct residential neighborhoods, five business improvement areas, and uh, right now you're in the Catherine area, all um, stewarded by the downtown young business improvement area. And so this conversation began when um, obviously the, uh, the Aura uh, Tower, which is under construction and, and probably still under construction for a little bit of time, but when Aura was, uh, was approved, there was a Section 37 package that was negotiated and, uh, and we knew that the funds would be directed to uh, College Park. There was going to be some significant improvements that was required. So this community has, uh, has been very patient. You've been extremely gracious as the development has, uh, has been underway. I know that for a lot of folks who live and work in the area, uh, who see College Park as their immediate park, whether you're in a condominium and it's, and it's something that you overlook, or it's abutting your property, I know that it's been um, very, very challenging because maybe the park is not um, in a condition that you'd like it to be in. But we have um, now an opportunity to take what was a negative and to turn it into a, a very strong positive, so we want it to be an asset. Um, and um, there is about 2.9 million, just under three million dollars for the renovation of this park, which is a sizable budget. But except for this park is special, you're not actually planting trees uh, in a in a normal tree pit. You're planting trees on top of a, a roof, a roof uh, that exists to protect uh, underground parking structure. Which for those who are working in the uh, and living in a condominiums and, and office towers adjacent to, uh, that's probably where you park your car. So there'll be trees planted uh, and dotted along there. So the exercise began when we uh, we started working with the downtown Yelp BIA and the McGill Granby Residents Association, and we started to ask, and the Bay Clover Hill Community Association, and we asked the question, you know, how do we go about designing uh, a, an urban space for everyone, all the different types of users that will use this park. And, um, and we thought that one of the best ways to do that is having an exercise uh, talking about placemaking. So we can design a be beautiful park, but if, it doesn't, if it's not used, it's not going to be successful. And at the end of the day, the, the measure of success for us, the benchmark of success, is whether or not you're going to be using the park. So we went through that exercise with PPS, Placemaking uh, Project for Public Space from New York City, and uh, there were a number of community meetings held with the local stakeholders and they went through uh, all sorts of uh, renderings and, and asking questions of how do you want to use the space. Um, and then subsequently, we've, uh, we've been working with a very talented uh, landscape architect team. They've done a lot of amazing public uh, uh, parks in terms of landscape spaces, not even just in Ontario, but throughout the, uh, the, the region. And uh, MBTW Group uh, is your lead landscape architect team. And uh, they put a lot of time and attention trying to listen to what uh, the residents and the property owners were saying. And uh, what you're going to see today is, a, is the results of, of that consultation. 
And uh, I'm going to hand it over to them because I think it's really exciting and uh, you don't need to hear from me. Oh, now we're going to take a look at some pictures and uh, they're going to explain to them, to explain to us how they, they came up with these concepts. And then we want to hear from you on what you think of what they've come up with based on your initial feedback. Uh, so it's great to see this group and uh, we welcome all sorts of dialogue and there is no right or wrong answer and uh, thank you for joining us tonight.